So the Pirates get the win 7-6 to six over the Red Sox, and, and there was a, a player from the Pirates that caught your eye, but also a new player from the Red Sox that also caught your eye last night. Yeah, Roflo, I was kind of in and out of this game last night, but I was intrigued by some of the really great players that were on the field for both the Pirates and the Boston Red Sox last night. And there's two I want to talk about that within the industry coming into this season – were huge names. Brian Reynolds was the ta was everybody's trade target until the Pirates have decided, hey, we want this guy to be a pillar of our franchise going forward. They're talking about a north of a hundred million dollar contract extension, and I think it's a smart play because I don't think the world truly knows how good this guy is. Came over in a trade when Andrew McCutcheon went to the Giants. So let's dive into Brian Re Reynolds and give people a little bit of run on what he tries to do with the plate, how good a player he is, okay? So Mays threw together some awesome numbers. He's six for 17 to start the year. He's got three home runs, four RBIs. 162 game average over three seasons. This guy, I don't think you'll believe, pause this. Bring me up a blind resume of kind of where he falls in, okay? Take a look at these numbers. Average, on base percentage, slug, OPS plus. Brian Reynolds is one of these guys. Roflo, stay with me, because this one's gonna catch you off guard. Okay. Little blind taste test right here. Oh. With I Brian like Reynolds. Because you're hearing they offered him 85 million. Yeah. He asked for about 140. Mm -hmm. They're going to meet in the middle, it seems like, right in that 107, 108 range. And you're okay. like, wow, for the Buckos to back it up like this or for him to request a trade, hey. They can do it. He might be a big time player. Reveal these two players. So, wow. for the masses at home, Kyle Tucker, all he does. Well, first off, he lived in the five hole on Team USA, but this is a guy that is going to get big time contract. We just watched Brandon Nimmo from the New York Mets. I know hits hits free agency at the right time, but what did he get? About 160 to 180 yeah. million from the New York Mets. Eight years, 162. Brian Reynolds is right there with all, with both of these guys, and right there with a lot of guys. So let's dive in on him because I want to show you from. A switch hitter can do a lot of things offensively, but kind of a la Trey Turner. He was a guy that if you go back to 2020, 2021, he was always searching with his lower half. Pause that. He was always searching with his lower half. We had him doing leg kicks. We had him doing toe taps. Last year, he got into that almost that two strike approach for lack of a better term. What Trey Turner's doing where they just set that front foot down and then they just turn. When you got legs like him, I mean, look at the size of this guy's quads. He's got his knee almost pointed back towards the catcher and his back foot kind of pigeon toed back like Don Mattingly used to do in the 80s to get into his lower half. Raise that. Take that back to the beginning for me if you can. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Pause this right here. One thing that's interesting, if you're going to get crouched like this, I tell the young kids playing travel ball, if you're going to stay crouched like this, once you take yourself from this position into that crouch, your head can't go back up now because I can't make the ball move. I got to be right here and leave it on plane. So run this real quick. Just look at him into his legs. Boom. Wow. This is side angle from last year. He's even more into his yeah. legs now this year than he was last year. And he looks like he did hack squats for days. <laughs> his quads are looking huge. It might be the high socks. That's why I never went high socks, because if you don't have big calves, you can't cover it. But he's on fire. And don't be shocked by the end of the week if he's not signing a $100 million deal with the Pirates and kind of putting them on that road to, yeah. hey, this is one of our guys Absolutely. that we're going to build around. Because the numbers are there. On par with Kyle Tucker, the Brandon Nimmo's of the world. Pretty special what he's been able to do. And then on the fl flip side, coming off the WBC, Mazataka Yoshida. This guy can flat play. And we were sitting at the winter meetings. Oh. And the $90 million came across, and everyone thought it was an overpay. But when you really dive into what this guy's capable of doing offensively, he has been an absolute killer in Japan. He never punches out. I love that. Walks for days, 
And he has got the ability to keep his front shoulder and his front side. Run this back for me real quick. And that front foot contact, slow, slow, slow. At front foot co contact, pause this. Pause. Look at how locked he is right there. I'll talk about it from the right side. This front hip's about to just absolutely fly. He's into his backside. His front shoulder, it's like he's shooting a rifle back at the pitcher. Mm. Nothing has left him. That's why his eye's so clean. He sees the ball so deep. If it's in, bang. There's no land wide open, <laughs> shoulder flying. So there's a lot to like here. Run it. I'm in on Yoshida. Coming off the WBC, like I said, he was one of their best hitters. <laughs> That's yeah. cute. I like I think, that. I don't know if the laundry cart skit's gone, but oh, my goodness. big time power. Big time hitter. He's not a big dude either. No, he is not tall by any stretch. But man, he gives himself a chance by landing oh. so closed that he's able to see the ball so deep. And he put up monster numbers. Oh. And this is WBC. Doesn't matter, lefty, righty stays in there. So I know the Boston Red Sox is kind of a mishmash trying to figure out what they're doing with their roster. And some people thought he was an overpay, but man, when you look at him from an offensive profile, he adds a ton of value to what they're trying to do. Huge on base guy, no punch, big time power. So interested to see how that plays out, but just two guys that I was focused on in Fenway last night.